and we mean it. This LP is rated M for mature. 17 plus. Or 12 plus, but your parents aren't looking. If you're anything like I was as a kid. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Angry Poncho here. And we are back. Or, we're not back. We're here. We're playing Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Game 1. New game. Let's do it. I gotta say, this game is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, I hadn't played it at all as a kid, which of course is kind of obvious from the maturity of the game, but I played it for the first time a couple months ago. And it was hilarious. It was so funny that it immediately went on my potential LPs list because it was a fun, intuitive platformer and it had some great humor. Uh, if you know anything about my sense of humor, I really like British humor, dry humor, absurdist humor, and this game has a lot of it. It's so funny. It's very dark, very, very vulgar, but man, it's good. That is one serious squirrel. Well, there I am. Conquer the king. King of all the land. Who'd have thought that? But how did I come to this, I hear you say? And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? I hear you also say. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. What a day that was. It's what I call a bad fur day. <laughs> wow. Right from the beginning, the sense of humor becomes apparent. It all started yesterday. Like, what? You tell me this whole game happened in one day? <laughs> <laughs> Dance girl, is that what her Walkman says? Hi, you've reached, like, Barry's place? I'm not available to answer the phone, obviously. Duh. However, if you leave your, like, name and number and you sound cute, I may ring you back. Ciao! Hi, Barry. Hello. Barry, if you there, pick up. Hello. Oh, anyway. Look. I'm gonna be a bit late. Well, met up with a couple of the guys, and they're off tomorrow to some, I don't know, fight some war somewhere. Anyway, um, I'll see ya. <laughs> Lo love you. I think she won it. Conquer! Put the phone down! Oh, oh. Uh, right. Who's round with it? Yours! What, again? Okay. <laughs> Can someone lend me a fiver? Uh, uh, I don't feel so good now. You guys enjoy yourself and all that, and I'll probably see you sometime next week. I gotta go home. 
I'll, I'll go this way. Oh, oh, no, that's the toilet. Let's go this way. Yeah, that's better. Off to a great start for our protagonist. Stumbling out of a, out of a bar, drunk in the middle of the night. Oh, uh, it doesn't look too good tonight. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna sec. Wow. <laughs> Sorry about that, old chap. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Which way? <laughs> oh boy. The start of an epic adventure, right? That's how they always begin. No, it's not even close. Nice, nasty. Mm. Uh, can't quite make it out. Anyway, it seems pretty familiar to me. This way, I suppose. <laughs> oh, dramatic music. Time to introduce the primary antagonist. Or at least that's what a normal game would do. And thus, the antagonist is introduced. A wobbly table. <laughs> I think it's so funny that he drinks milk. I, I get that he's a big jungle cat, but... It's almost when you first when I first saw it, I was like, "Oh man, why they gotta have him drink milk?" I mean, you know, it's a beer. But then I remembered, wait a minute, Conker just got wasted in a bar. They don't have any problem showing beer in this game. They gave him milk because they wanted him to have milk. Oh no! It's gonna be one of those days. A bad fur day. And you finally get control of the main character. Only eight minutes in. That's not bad for a game. And you stumble around drunk. This is how the game starts. Uh, it says B. Doesn't do anything. Oh, I can throw a punch. A drunken bar punch. Wah. Really, I mean, what game starts out starts you out with your character having a massive hangover? <laughs> who does who does that? Who does that? And that's that's the kind of question you're gonna be asking this entire LP. Who does that? Right. <laughs> it's just so it's so absurd. It's hilarious. And this this game makes several parodies of various movies, some obvious, some subtle, and its humor <laughs> never ceases to to amuse. So you stumble around over here and talk to this guy, this scarecrow over here. What's that? What's that? Hey, hey. Uh, who are you? Oh, uh, hello. Can you help me? Uh, uh, I. I need to get home and go to bed, because I don't feel very well at all. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, so you can't help me at all. Uh, uh, actually, yeah. Uh, yes, I can. There's a misplaced speech Baby. bubble. Um, okay. What's your name? Beardy. Beardy? You haven't got a beard. No. Beardy. I scare birdies. Okay, birdie. Right. Um, so how you, can you help me? Right. Uh, let's step over here. Okay. I'll smell like stumble over here, but I'll try. 
You see those buttons? Yeah. Actually, you'll find that uh, uh, they're called contact sensitive. <laughs> contact sensitive. And, uh, uh, well, actually, they uh, uh, pressed B. Press B. Oh, yeah. The light comes on. Oh, yeah. And it makes this nice ting. Right, uh, ting noise. You guys ting. There, no, ting. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay, I'll press B. <laughs> they don't even make an attempt to maintain a fourth wall. You can see this Gurkha, he takes a couple words to try and say, well, you, you got it in. Press B. <laughs> just, just press B. Context oh. sensitive. Huh. I don't mind if I do. So, what does that mean? It means context sensitive. It's sensitive to context. Try it over there. Okay. Right. Try it again. <laughs> I don't think so, man. Thanks for your help. Notice the sign. Hilarious. <laughs> All right, press B. Ah, alka seltzer. Good thinking. Oh, just what I needed. Do, In fact, do, do, it would seem to me that I these need. give me just what I need at that moment in time. Context sensitive. Oh, I see what he means. Context sensitive. Clever. Oh, I feel loads better. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, and by the way, if for whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, then just press the L button. I won't be but doing that. you will have to have watched them at least once. <laughs> Alright! Woohoo! Wait a minute, how do I... Oh, I don't have my abilities yet. I forgot they give them to you slowly. Wah! You can punch people in the face and you can jump with the A button. B normally punches. Those, those platforms, I guess you call them context-sensitive spots, they... Let's see, how does... Swimming. I guess you're just pushing the direction you want to go. There's no, uh... There's no button to make things easier for yourself. You can't paddle any faster. <laughs> you notice the water wings? Pretty good, huh? Oh. I can't seem to get any further. I'm sure there was something. Ah, yeah. Now I remember. Hold the Z button down, and I should crack. Okay. Now then, what was it? Oh yeah, press A to jump extra high. Yep. Then A again to do that funny helicopter tail thing. Now that makes me harder. Hmm, I should easily get across that gap. Yep, you'll find. Um, are you sure you've got that? Got it, Conker. You'll find that you don't need to use the L button trick very often. Your A, A is basically a double jump. You do this helicopter tail thing. If you need to, you can crouch first, jump a little higher, just like in Mario. But you're not going to get as much forward momentum if you do the crouch one. You have to stop to do it. What's in here? Can't open that. Okay. Go up here. Start shot in this little tutorial zone. You don't actually do a whole lot here. Now be careful in this game. It's you can, it's a good the, 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 the detection on how far you are off the edge of a platform can be a little wonky. So occasionally you might have a hard time. Bam! Go up here and pull this lever. You might need to hit A a little bit sooner than you would in say a Mario game because the detection is just written oh so slightly differently. It just requires you to jump a little bit sooner than you might be used to. Anyway, zip on in here. Trying to find our way back home. The Lord knows what that. Oh, are we locked in now? We have a boss fight? No, not in this video. Hey, there's a key! Come here, you! Oh, dude. Come here, you key. Hey, hey! Hey, what? Hang on. There's something missing here. Didn't I have a. Ah! Nah. Try pressing B and see what that does. Okay. Um, are you sure you've got that? Uh, it was fairly simple. And you get a frying pan. It's your primary attack. Although I'll tell you, this thing is darn near useless. You essentially almost you almost never use it in the game. You have to stop to swing it. You can't swing it while you're moving. But you can use it to knock the hell out of this key and stun him, so you can shove him into this lock. Almost as brutal as unlocking things in Okami. 
And the key stumbles away. I guess he's fine. Get out of here. Alright. Alright, we need to go back up this bridge. This is not the way to our house. We need to go up and out of here. Bum, 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 bum. So we'll run right back up to where this lever was. And this time go to the left, right across this stone bridge. What the heck is this guy doing? Ah, this guy. My thoughts exactly. If you think you're coming this way, you can think again. Oh, you're a real charm. I just want to get past, please. No, I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets right up your ass, you know. Thought it was about time to move on to a bridge, say. And I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? Well, if you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. Okay. What's up? Dude! What the hell? Gratuitous violence. And down the shaft we go. Well, that was fun. Anyway, you run into this hole and you appear behind where you started. So, no real loss there. Alright, I think that's all for this episode of Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day. In the next episode, we're going to head back up to that piece of gothic architectural crap, that gargoyle up there. But how will we convince him to move? Will we ever find our way back home? And why do all the first-person views have horrible texture glitches? Find out next time on Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day!